This is Gene Key, KDD News. Amarillo.com reports an accidental fire early Thursday at Amarillo College's West Campus caused $300,000 in damage. No injuries were reported. At 8.23 a.m., seven fire units responded to a fire call at the West Campus Building B. When firefighters arrived, they saw heavy smoke and fire coming from the building. The fire was under control within an hour. Building B was evacuated and classes in the building are suspended indefinitely. The fire broke out on the north end of the building. The building holds classrooms on the south end, some of which were newly renovated. The north end was used for storage. The Amarillo Fire Marshal's Office determined the cause of the fire to be accidental. It's believed an electrical malfunction in the motorcycle battery being stored there sparked the blaze. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a man from Elgin, Oklahoma, has been charged with stealing 27 head of cattle from a feed yard in Hansford County. The Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association said Jason Mark Anderson, 35, was arrested earlier this month for allegedly stealing 27 steers from USA Feed Yard in Groover. An indictment in the case has been handed down to a Hansford County grand jury. Anderson was held at the Hansford County Jail in Spearman. Special Ranger Ben Eagleston said Anderson used his own semi to transport the cattle to the Oklahoma City stockyards. Theft of 27 head of cattle is a third-degree felony. Anderson faces up to 10 years in prison if convicted. NewsChannel10.com reports an Amarillo man and a Panhandle couple have been killed following an accident in Amarillo. About 8.30 Wednesday night, officers were sent to the 300 block of South Lakeside near Interstate 40. They say they discovered 88-year-old Frank Bosler of Amarillo had been driving his pickup southbound in the northbound lane. He hit 73-year-old David Weisman of Panhandle in a Camry. Bosler died at the scene. Weisman and his wife were transported to a local hospital where they both died. The accident is being investigated. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.